Are you struggling to create efficient schedules, track employees, hours and manage labor costs very effectively? Managing a workforce can be overwhelming without the right tool. Welcome to Sling, the ultimate scheduling app designed to help businesses streamline workforce management. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will walk you through how to use Sling to create schedules, track times and attendance, communicate with your team and analyze performance all from un one intuitive platform. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up Sling, create staff, schedules, monitor labor cost, and generate reports. So before moving further, let's go and check our pricing because that is what it's going to play a major role here. Now you can see here it's free. You can use it up to for 30 users and premium it charge you $1.70 per, uh, per month, right? And it is per user by the way. Right, and this is a business which is you know three point four dollars per user per month, right? And you can usually you can try it for free for any one of them, right? So once you uh, you can come to the website if you want to analyze it, if you want to compare it, you can read the testimonials and everything. Now on the top right side corner, go and click on get started to start this up. Now why I like Sling? So Sling helped me to create schedules, right? And by the way, click on create a new Sling account right and here fill up all this information i'm going to use my google it helps you to track time and attendance right it, it, it communicate with your team it analyzes performance right and it is cloud-based it integrates seamlessly with tools like quickbooks and gusto and you know ai powered suggestions for optimal shift uh, scheduling right so this is really interesting now once you're here just go and click on enter your company details here right so i will just write here Filex Express. Now, in the industry is let's say I want to go and check out. Let's say the industry is fitness, right? Number of employees, so it's one to twenty. Click on next. Now here you have to enter your position name. So I can just enter it position, right? And let's say the position name is owner and the position. Okay, why it's asking me again and again same thing? Okay, so I am going to do it later. I don't. I didn't understand the last part, but you but you can do it for yourself. Now here you can just enter your name that is a uh, Ron right and enter your email address now here you can uh, uh, you know you can add your team members you can invite employees right and I'm just going to do it later right now this is a dashboard so your current time zone doesn't match your profile time zone so let's say I'm going to add my time zone here uh, automatically I think it's not going to add it's getting some kind of error so I will just go and click on no now here it's saying that complete this task to understand that how sling works obviously we are going to do this as you can see here the dashboard looks a little bit complicated that's fine i will explain you each and everything now let's go step by step here for example first of all add employees i will just go and click on add employees here right and uh, i can just add employee here for example john right and okay so they want the last and first name both right and here i will just write here emails john at gmail.com right now click on save now as you, as you can see here automatically john jacob came here right and as i keep adding my team member automatically it will add here now create shift so i will just go and create shift here for example i want to create a shift on 28th of march the start time is 9 a.m the end time is 5 a.m. and the break is around for 30 minutes in between whenever they want they can take it now this is a location so for example there is a one location filex if you have more than one branch you can add it here now this is a position so let's say i will add here position manager right and there's a no position so i have to create a position so a position has been created now employees so this is for john and this is for the onion too now i will just publish it up and click on save now you can see here my schedule is published now i can just continue scheduling uh, scheduling here you can see here 28th of march automatically the two schedule has been created i mean the single schedule has been created for both of the team members right now the third thing we can define the wages so for example early wages is around 100 dollars for uh, okay i think i pressed the wrong key here hundred dollars and for the john it's same hundred dollars and click on save right now here once i have defined the wages which you can see here 750 dollars per day because uh, for every hour they are earning right now i can just set schedule rules 
so first day of the week so after you schedule layout and labor cost calculations obviously it's from the first day of the week visibility of the schedules for employees yes employees can view full schedule for all position i can change it up whenever i want this is a weekly overtime whenever one employee just work overtime they will get some extra pay depending upon how much uh, work they have worked right now this is a clo opening prevent clo opening cases when scheduling employees and then you can just go and click on save so this is how it's work now this is an enable time clock so if i just go and click on here this is a time tracking so i can track that how much which employees work and this is a geofencing to ensure employees are in the right place you can allow employees to clock in prior to the scheduling start of the shift and you can automatic clock out so there is some extra features which you can completely track your employees now if i just go and click on save so it we have completed each and everything now let's go and click on view the reports as you can see here this is reports that is a 15 dollars per day 750 each for both of the employees now let's go to the dashboard here now the dashboard is something which will show me everything for example uh, your next shift is tomorrow right and i can see here so i if i want to start it right now i'll just go and click on clock in so you are too early so obviously i have to come tomorrow and uh, i have to click on clock in so whenever my shift start i have to make sure that i have to click on clock in right now this is an employee section so uh, automatically my employee will show here right and i have joined i have invited jacob when jacob uh, accept the invitation you know and john will able to join with me now this is a one position so for example i can add more position for example this is for the manager i can make as a staff i can make as a step manager and there's a lot of position which you can just create it right now there's only one location which is filex right and this is a time zone i can enter the address so here i can just go and add more address and add location so for example let's say my fitness center is into the you know, four different different states of my country so i can just go and click on add location and i'm able to add location at the same time i have an option to import locations too now this is a four a fifth section which is called group so look like you have no group yet so i can just create a group for the internal communication for example let's say this is for the all one right and here i can add employees right so for example i can just add a separate group i can create a separate group for a very specific purpose here and uh, if i want to hide this from my schedule i can hide it now this is a way to create one group now this is a tag so tag is for example it's free for 15 days but afterwards available in business so for example create tag to add further details to shift and reports ensure all jobs are covered and keep employees clear on what expected of them during each shift so for example if i just go and click on add here i can just go and create with zone one the windows area the entrance and everything now this is a labor cost so i can just go and click on go and click on labor cost now here it will show me the labor cost of each and every employee right now this is a settings now settings is for for example i can change the time zone i can change the name format and everything right how it's look and the sound effects and all this stuff now i hope you understood this all this stuff here now if i just go and click on schedule as you can see here i can schedule for example i went to schedule for you know 30th of sunday so i can just go and click on plus i've shown you how you can do this there's a template so i can choose the template or create a shift template here and this is a task so task is regarding for example i can choose here title task right now this is a description right so i'll just write here test right subtask so for example uh, for example task one to complete the task one if there is a so many subtasks for example there's a subtask one subtask two so you can create here and this is an option to add attachments so you can attach documents you can attach links and everything and just go and click on create right so this is how you can do so now this is a message center so you can just interact with all the group you can uh, you can just go and click on private conversation conversation and then you can just start a private conversation with the co-workers and here you can message multiple users on even positions locations and groups right now this is a news feed so what is news feed is used for so it looks like you have no pages here so i can create pages for my news feed to share updates with my team i can you know let me show you how you can do this i will just go and click on create page and i can create page i can share information this is just like a newsletter for just for the internal community how you can do so right now this is the report section so report section is something you can see here the daily pages 
and this is a sales and wages and everything right and you can create in really a good way now this is a payroll so payroll is something which you can use for the rates and subtotal wages and everything which is really nice to do in a really long way right now this is an attendance so every employee it can be sometimes they can take a leave and generally not every employee is going to come for 30 days or not every employee is going to come for every month of the day right so usually you can just track on which day they have came and on which day how many hours they have worked right now this is a shift feedback so they can you can get a, a, accurate data of how many hours one employee have worked now this is a time off and same goes for this is for the sales so how much sales you have did right and everything which will show up here right now this is a time clock so time clock is really useful for example you can just track exactly that how much hours one employee worked in your company or in the shift right for example there's a shift of seven um, uh, let's say the shift is around eight hours but the employee worked up only for four hours then they can just calculate up and you can get an exactly idea right so this is really nice and this is and guys and uh, i hope that it's a complete step-by-step -step guide video to use Sling for workforce management. Whether you're creating schedules, tracking time, or analyzing performance, Sling has a tool to help you succeed. If this video helped, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more software tutorials. Thanks for watching this video.